Good morning, good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning. Thank God it's Friday. I hope you guys had a great week. So we've got only a couple of weeks left on December. So if you haven't done any uh, holiday shopping, Christmas or uh, whatever holiday, holiday I ask you guys to celebrate, uh, make sure you go out there, uh, spend some money, okay? It's, but it seems like to me, you know, not a lot of people buying anything i don't know let me know okay you guys are very excited about the holiday gift giving season yeah let me know in the comment section as well also join the live chat too i got my laptop set up here this morning so i get to see all your comments on the side so yeah so i get to see your comments How about a few people watching right now so yeah oh uh, okay look, look who's on the live chat we got friends from india okay again so let's talk about uh, who's just popping in? We have a uh, analysis. I think I, I, I hope I'm, I'm saying that, saying it right. Analysis as well. We have a uh, uh, Tyler is joining us. We have a uh, Brandon. So Tyler's getting the Posada Poly filter. Fantastic! Don't forget to use my coupon code. Okay, you got ten percent off. So make sure you use the coupon code. All right. We got uh, Lewis is joining us and Jesse. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to check back with you later on your live chat. Okay, so this morning's topic is Toron Legato. Okay, I, uh, we spent a lot of time this week, all right? So one of our review stuff, I don't do only once, okay? I know a lot of YouTube channels, kind of like one and done, but not my channel, okay? I want to just find out as much as I can in my live streaming. So you get to see it, okay? You get to see it. So I've been using uh, about a good week, okay, solid, every single morning. Overall, this is a great package, all right? I mean, I think Joe from Espresso Outlet, he, he got a sale going on right now. I think you can get for one for 300 bucks, right? Uh, 400 bucks. Uh, he got a $100 coupon code and $50 coupon code. I do have a link down below as well. And then uh, comes a small form factor. He's selling for $499, so $500 coffee machine. Okay, as you can see, small. Okay, plenty of water. Uh, if you're looking, water I'm not worried about. Got plenty, uh, capacity-wise. Small form factor as well. I can fit on any corner in your house. Okay, st standard clearance. Uh, comes to these machines, most, okay, you need gotta get a grinder, right? Uh, whenever you're buying this uh, coffee light, stand alone coffee machine, you gotta get a separate grinder. So if you combine those two, something like that, I mean, you can pretty much fit anywhere, okay? And so if you're thinking about toss between Brista Express or Pro versus like standalone express machine and separate grinder, so this form factor is about the same, okay? It's slightly larger than just a Bravo Brista Express or Pro, but I mean, as you can see, it can pretty much fit any corner in your kitchen. Okay, it's pretty compact as well. And 58 millimeter port filter. Okay, compared to 54. You know what? At uh, some point, I'm going to go side by side uh, with my Express and Legato. So you guys are going to actually see it uh, side by side test. Um, on and up button on the top, we got the manual button. Manual means whenever you start stop okay i mean that's my preferred method whenever i brew my coffee and the last one is the kind of like the preset okay the preset mode there uh, hold on i'm gonna just start the machine just now and preset means you can actually enjoy the pre-infusion mode all right i'm gonna explain to you what that is and then obviously we have the temperature adjustment by one degree Celsius. I wonder if there's no way to, I read a manual, but there's no way to change the Fahrenheit. So Celsius, you just get used to it, that's all. Pretty much everybody use Celsius, but US and some, maybe uh, only a couple countries in the world use actually Fahrenheit and uh, inches. So anyway, so this one, you can change the temperature and pre-infusion time through this uh, tiny screen. Obviously, uh, we are have the 
steam one, thermal block, thermal block steam one there. Again, similar to Brista Express. Uh, pressure gauge on the bottom. Uh, and uh, some of you already saw my video. This is about 15, 16 bar machine. Okay, 15 or 16, not a nine bar. Okay, is that important? Eh, yeah, yes and no. Okay, I know some people prefer like nine bar coffee machine traditionally. My old uh, Rancheria yeah, Servia set at nine bar. You know, I mean, the guy's a classic pro. You can actually adjust the overall pressure of that OPB. You can change the pump pressure as well. But unfortunately, this machines, you are stuck at uh, 15 bar, okay, 15 or 16. But so do Bravo Beast Express. I have no problem using it over the years. So uh, I'm, we're gonna put a shot shortly. So let me know, okay, let me know if, it, if it's gonna be issues for, issue for you. Again, 58 millimeter port filter, very handy. Uh, so this is a norm core port filter, but uh, pretty much compatible with all E61 group. Okay, group head port filter works just fine. So even my uh, fancy Pisado baskets, okay, you can actually use my Pisado basket as well. Okay, so it, it's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the Pisado basket for my Brista Express. Okay, Bravo machines. I think. Uh, uh, actually, one of our uh, is that is that your Tyler? You got a you, you got this one, something like that with a uh, Bravo port filter. Yeah, I think it's Tyler earlier. He mentioned to me, but uh, okay. So let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it for a second. So what do I think about this coffee machines? It's, uh, I've been using it for a week, and actually, my wife uh, she thinks that who and which one you want to keep. Okay, I have a Bravo Brista Pro sitting right over there. I'm not going to show you, but yeah, it's a little messy over there in that section. And then we have a Legato with a built-in grinder. Okay, I mean, so here's the thing about uh, if you, as a home machine, okay, if you're a single person, if you don't have to worry about space issues, just get whatever you want, okay? But with family, a family of four, okay, I have a limited kitchen space. Okay, I have a limited kitchen space, so I have to my, utilize my space well. And the thing about the uh, Bravo Vista Express or Pro has a built-in grinder. So I just want machine sitting on that corner. But with the semi-automatic machine like this, obviously with the, you know, separate grinder, takes, even though they're compact, takes space. Okay, it's, takes their space and also, this uh, coffee machine is not convenient for the family. If you're, if you're the only person using it, not a big deal, okay? It's not a big deal. But my wife uses it, my son uses it. So this machine can be a little challenging, okay? So, I mean, I have to, they have to learn, okay? They have to learn how to use this machine. Freestyle Express or Pro, obviously, it's kind of, they're a lot easier to use, okay? Put the beans in press the button, you, you are, it's not as bad, okay? Learning curve is not that stiff, but this one does. Uh, plus we have the stepless grinder, like Bravo machines, uh, we're gonna talk about that even in detail, but having said that, okay, if you're really into espresso only, I prefer this because you have a lot of control with the temperature, you can control the temperature really well, okay? Pre-infusion, I'm not that crazy about. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that that, that often. Pre-infusion, not, not really. But, you know, straight shots, it uh, works really good. Uh, comes to steam, steaming power. Pretty much the in part with, hold on here. Pretty much the same as like Vista Express. Okay, Brista Express. Uh, if you want a faster uh, steaming, I think I go with the Pro uh, Thermal Jet instead of Thermal Block. But for what it is, for the price, uh, 500 bucks. But again, you gotta buy a separate grinder, okay? 
So you got $500 plus the grinder, right? So this one is a DF64 Gen 2. $399, so $400. Bucks. Uh, depend on the sale, but you know, let's say $400. Bucks. $400 plus $500. So that's $1,000. Okay. I know someone asked me yesterday about the longevity of these coffee machines. Uh, and even they just came out in US. Okay. They have a different name for that. Apex. Uh, I think it's Canada. I think Me Coffee is selling as a uh, Apex Legato in <clears throat> in US. And also, if you go to Southeast Asia, they have a different name for that as well. So this machine has been around for about twelve years, uh, about twelve years. So its longevity is there. Okay. <clears throat> Our build quality is for five hundred bucks. Okay, uh, they're fine. I think it's fair. All right. Uh, one complaint I have is the drip tray is tiny. All right, drip tray is pretty small. Okay, so you have to empty out quite a bit. Okay, every single time, uh, you know, pretty much you gotta, whenever you use your coffee for the morning, you just empty out. I mean, I usually make about four cups a day on these machines. I'm about to make a coffee for you guys. And other than that, okay, if budget, if money is the issue, all right, uh, we are talking about the sub $500 coffee machine. So what's out there? Gaza Classic Pro, that's it. You have Gaza is the is. Rentually, a Serbia, you're looking at 600 bucks, 700 bucks, just a, just a stock model. I think six, uh, 700 bucks, I think, Seven, 760 or 770. But if you want to add PID, there's an additional 100 bucks or 150 or 200 bucks. Okay, so you're pushing to like nine to thousand bucks for that, thousand dollars. So pretty much double the price as this. So only competitors for this cup machine is a Bravo machine, okay, Brista Express or Pro. I want to talk about the entire setup there. Just the machine. Real competitor is a Gaza Classic, okay, Gaza Classic. So you have to ask yourself, I want to go buy the Gaja for like 450, 450 or 500 bucks, depending on where you go, versus you want to go with uh, Legata, okay, or Apex. So Gaja is uh, made in Italy versus China, okay. So we have to, you have to ask yourself, I want to buy from Chinese, uh, China versus Italy. Comes to Italian, they know how to make great coffee machines, okay? Beer quality is there for Gaja, okay? They are tank. Once you have it, you're gonna have it for a long time. But they are very limited though, okay? Very limited. All right, so with the Gaja, you have to uh, add PID. So, okay, so that's not uh, separate, okay? It's not included, so you have to do the PID as well. And then, but you, you, you can do a lot of modification. To be have over the gaja okay but this one just straight out of the box is all there okay pid okay uh temperature control that's fantastic that's great uh pre-infusion okay i'm talking about pid as temperature yeah. pid is great pre-infusion mode that's that's what it is for that okay doesn't matter if you if you add the pid and the pre-infusion on Rentrally or Sylvia, same mechanism, okay? Run pump for like a second or so and shuts down. Wait, you know, depend on the way you set up a pre-infusion, start pump again, so all the same for this type of machine for pre-infusion, okay? Temperature gauge, obviously, but for straight out of the box, if you don't have to do anything, I think this machine is the one, all right? This machine is the one. But if you are the person that likes to like modify, you know, just play with the coffee machines, Gaja is fantastic. You can pretty much put whatever you want on that, that machine. Okay, I think there is an open source, uh, the program for that as well. So you can do a lot of stuff for uh, Gaja Classic Pro. But if you're not the type of person to play around, okay. So your options are not a whole lot out there. 
Legato Gaja, I think they're direct, uh, kind of like direct competitor, for my opinion. And then if you want to spend some more money to it, you got the Rancheria Servia. But once you're spending a further of thousand bucks, heat exchange machine is right around the corner, around 1500 bucks there. Okay. So if I were you, I think I'd go with the heat exchange machine. All right. So the, the price gap is about thousand bucks, $500. Not a lot between. And then we've got the heat, heat exchanger at 1500. If you're gonna go with the heat exchange, I go with the dual boiler, right? Push off to two grand, 25. So by that time, you are looking at $3,000. So in, in other words, okay, you don't have a lot of options. All right, so we have a really, the entry level machine like this, Okay, and they have a different segment, like Bravo, uh, Bravo machines. So I don't know which camp are you. Okay, are you really into, you know, you guys want to make the best espresso as possible, or you are the person that you know I just want to make great coffee in the morning and go to work. So I mean, it's a different, you know, it's a different way to look at it. So uh, actually, we're gonna go talk about that maybe tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go side by side with my pro with a uh, legato. Having said that, let's brew some coffee, okay? Well, let's brew some coffee here. We got some few people watching this morning. Let's see who is on. Uh, we have a uh, uh, Terry's on, shout out to uh, Espresso Out. I think it's a Joe's on the website right now, okay? Joe is on the live chat. Hey, uh, Joe, is that you? Let me know, okay? And then let's see who else is on this morning. Okay, Richard, okay. Uh, Richard said, don't forget to like this streaming. Yeah, we got 60 people watching, just make sure thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up on the video, all right. Yeah, it's not gonna hurt my channel. Okay, I think, I, I hope Joe is on, okay? Joe, if you have the DF83V, all right? I'd love to see it, okay, I'd love to see it. I know you have the prototype, I believe. Okay, if you have the prototype, yep. Yeah, Joe's there right now. So Joe is here. I saw the, I react to DF64V yesterday. No, DF83V, all right. DF83V yesterday. That's, that's a very interesting grinder. Okay, I have no idea what the price range is going to be. Okay, hopefully price is good. Uh, by the way, unfortunately my laptop is dead. Okay, hold on. Yeah, my laptop is, so I cannot look at your comments there. Hold on a second. Hopefully I can check out from the, this tiny screen here. Hold on a second here. Hopefully I can see, yeah, I'm going to maybe see, score through. Anyway, so I react to DF83V yesterday. That looks pretty, pretty legit. Okay, pretty legit there. And I cannot wait to see the, the final product on that. It could be a game changer. Okay, it could be game changer. Looks really nice. Okay, uh, but meantime, let's brew some coffee. All right, I'm just gonna hopefully set up right here. Show you guys a quick workflow. Again, I'm using the DF64 Gen 2. Has the plasma generator. Uh, hopefully I have the right grind, uh, grind size. The great thing about the Gen 2, okay, it's only what, 400 bucks, but it has the built-in plasma generator, okay, which means uh, it's gonna be uh, reduce the static. I know some people, it may not be a big deal, okay. For me, it's about convenience at home, okay. And uh, if you have, you know, if you are the person that, if you don't care about it, you really enjoy making coffee it's not a big deal okay but with family goodness if my wife or my kid wants to use my boys wants to use it, it might be issues okay like wdt right okay i know my family likes to use a spotted one 
they don't like to use the bottomless. Okay. But bottomless, you know, I really enjoy using the bottomless pore filter. You know, it's fun. Okay, I really enjoy the workflow. Right, I really enjoy the workflow here. Okay. Plus 58 millimeter, uh, you have a lot of option comes to tools wise. It's a, it's, it's a lot of, there's tools for everything, but luckily, you know, you have a lot more option with a 58 millimeter. Yeah. I mean, 54 is, is, is getting popular as well. Okay, so this is the, you know, distribution tool from Normcore. I got the Normcore set up here, but I mean, if you want to go a little fancy, Posada, yeah, you have a lot of options. I'm just going to hit up my puck screen here. Uh, again, my temperature change at, uh, set at 94. So let's lock it in. Well, let's go one to two ratio, okay? All right, again, yeah, let me show you guys. Hold on a second. Let's flip the camera. If you have a spouted pore filter, it's not gonna fit with the cups. So that's why you need uh, to have bottomless pore filter. So we're gonna go with just a straight manual shot, start. Start time right there. Look, let's take a look at the shot. Shot looks pretty good. Look at the bars. Right now we are at what? A 10 bar pressure. Okay, 10 bar pressure there from the group head. Let's go one to two ratio. Twenty nine seconds. Twenty thirty eight gram. That's a very nice shot. Okay. It's beautiful. All right, let's do some milk. Okay, I'm just gonna set up my stand here. Okay, steam. Uh, we're gonna make some cappuccino this morning. I like to just purge first. Okay, I like to purge some water first in the beginning. Shut it. Go back again. Usually it takes about 40 seconds, 35 to 40 seconds. For this case, I'm done. About 24 seconds. Okay. Just make sure wipe it clean. Okay. With a wet paper towel and purge it one, once more. All right, it comes to steaming here. Just make sure play with it. I have a lot of air bubble. Tapping by removing the air bubble. Air bubble. All right, let's give it a try. Beautiful shot of espresso. There we go. Something like that. Not bad, okay, not bad at all. Okay, here we go. Let's put back here. So it comes to a workflow for Legato is not too bad. Okay, it's not too bad, hold on. Uh, I got a charger. So let's take a look at your, look at your any last minute comments. Going to post first look video, okay, good. So Joe is going to put the first, uh, Joe, are you going to put the first look of the DF64 
83V, first look. That is your plan? Let me know. Okay, let me know in the chat there. All right. I'm very curious about that grinder. Should be a lot of fun to use. Okay, let's see here. What else? I'm just going to look at the comments there. It's hard to see it for whatever reason. Yeah. But it's there. Uh, hopefully, just going to put some post on the video. Uh, comes to latte, you know, works just fine. I'm just going to have a, one quick sip. Mm. You might have put some sugar in it. Yeah, monk fruit there. I'm just have a one sip. Yeah, that's all. That's all I need. The rest of them goes to my wife. Anyway, uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, what can you tell you about this coffee machine? Uh, I mean, again, for the price, if you're looking for a budget uh, coffee machine, you, you don't have a lot of options, okay? I know, so you got the Bravo machines. I know some people may not like Bravo machines. So if you don't like Bravo machines, what's, what is your option? This one, you got the Gaja. Yeah, that's it for that, that price range. I mean, I know you guys talk, we talk about the beer quality. I have to say, uh, Gaja, beer quality is, seems like to me much, Gaja is there, okay? That's pretty solid coffee machine, solid. But comes to out of the box experience, it can be this one, okay? This is great. PID, you know, pre-infusion. It's not, you know, it's not as good as the Bianca. But Bianca is what, $3,000 for pre-infusion, right? They're fantastic flow control. Okay, they're great. But with the $500, temperature PID, pre-infusion. We got the thermal block. Oh yeah, that's the big one, okay? Let's not forget that, guys. Thermal block steam one. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. The aspects of the coffee machine. Gaza Classic Pro. Or Rancheria Serbia. There's a, a single boiler machine. Okay. So one boiler handles, handles the steaming and brew. Brew, okay. You have to remember, steam temperature versus brew temperatures are, is not the same. Okay. If you're sharing the one boiler, guess what? Whatever you brew it, you have to flip the switch on the Rancheria Serbia to go up to the uh, steam temperature. Okay, so you have to wait about 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20, about 20 seconds, I, re I recall, 15 or 20, could be 30 seconds. And then you got to steam it, okay? And then if you're brewing for by yourself, it's great, okay? You don't have to worry about it. But let's say if you have a guest at home, right? If you have a guest at home, you have to plan it. You're going to pull three shots first, two or three shots, whatever, how many guests you have, you got to pull the shots first. And then you got to steam after that. You cannot go brew, steam, brew, steam. You cannot do it. So if you're going to brew steam, if you're going to brew again, you have to cool down the boiler to get the right temperature. If you don't have a PID, you got to do the temperature surfing. Okay, and that, you got to do the temperature surfing there. So that's the huge, huge factor, uh, a great benefit of having the thermal block steam one. I mean, I think that's a huge selling point. Okay, having said that, so now you have to ask yourself, if you're, if you're only drinking espresso, I mean, it doesn't make any, you know, you're fine, okay? I mean, you can go with either Gaja or, you know, Legato. But if you are the person that, you know, I like the milk-based drink for the family, but I don't want to buy rubber machines. Okay. I mean, this is pretty much it. Yeah, let me know. Okay, let me know if you think any other machine in this price range. Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah, it'd be pretty interesting to hear your thoughts. All right, hold on a second. But meantime, let's take a look at the final, uh, our comments from you guys. Okay, Terry. Terry's looking for, I'm okay with the single boiler since uh, rising temperature from brew to steam. Yeah, not too long, okay. But machine is, uh, 
But yeah, Terry said this machine is, I mean, this is reasonably priced for sure. But I cannot imagine teach my family how to use uh, Gaja Classic Pro. Okay. Or Renchulia Sylvia. I mean, that's, I mean, that's not, I mean, you, you have to be a coffee, in, in a coffee hobbyist to use a machine like that. I mean, if you're in a brew and the steam, at the, you know, it's not easy, not like Bravo machines. So it's all dependent on who, who's using your coffee machine at home. So anyway, I hope this video helps. Okay, if you are tossed between Bravo machine versus uh, like entry level machine like this, Legato, uh, you're gonna go side by side. Uh, let's do that tomorrow morning. But meantime, yeah. I mean, I, I'm getting, I'm, I mean, I li I'm liking it. Okay. It'd be interesting to see a uh, side-by-side -side comparison with my Bianca. All right, maybe we should do that next uh, week, uh, maybe next couple of weeks. Shot to shot, right? Bianca versus Legato. Obviously, they're both 58 millimeter, uh, so we can do some good comparison there. Yeah. It should be a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great, uh, wonderful Friday morning. Uh, I'll be back later, okay? We're going to make some coffee at my coffee desk later, so we're going to have some fun there as well.